start recording and also share my screen. Um, okay, here it is. You can see it, right? Yeah, I see Tarek nodding. Okay, that's yeah. perfect. Cool. So um, here, well, in the session today, what we wanted to do is to focus on online stores optimization. It can be either a website, a marketplace store, or any social media presence. So um, we wanted to have especially these sessions because it's very important to have the online presence optimized, not only to uh, appear better on Google or appear better on um, marketplaces, but also because having now an online presence is like having a business card. So basically, if, you're, if you don't have this online presence, you don't exist. And also people, when they want to uh, reach out to you, they will search for you in the internet. They will see the quality of your content. They will see the, the quality of your format um, and they will trust you or not, depending on that digital presence. Um, and here there's a, a, a nice uh, statement. I, I, found, I read about it last week, which was uh, said by Neil Patel, um, who is a, a great expert on SEO. And he says that there are over 200 factors in Google's algorithm. So how do we ensure that our website is going to be optimized to rank higher on Google? It seems quite difficult, right? Because having all these factors that Google is taking into account to make us uh, appear better on the on the on Google, it's difficult. And this also applies to uh, other online uh, marketplaces, for example, Etsy, Amazon. You need to know how they work to optimize uh, your presence. Uh, what we learned in our in our last e-commerce clinics uh, was some techniques to optimize Etsy and also to optimize social media. Uh, and what it's important is that they all have a common they all share a common um a, like some common uh, uh basis on optimization and then each online channel has different um different tips that you need to to research and uh apply one second let me lower a bit the music okay um so Today, uh, what we are going to to do first, before getting into, you know, into letting you speak, I just wanted to give you first three main tips for today. I don't want you to to give you a, a like a full list of tips to optimize your your online presence, but I wanted to give you these three main tips, which are finding long term keywords, creating epic content, and now I'll give you some details about what I mean uh, by epic content in this case, and then optimizing your keywords and also your content, always having the user into account. So um, when we talk about finding long-term keywords, there are many tools out there uh, that can help you look for uh, long-term tail keywords. Sorry, I put term, it's tail. Um, sorry for the mistake, long tail keywords. But first I wanted to ask you if all of you know what the meaning of this term is. Are you aware, are you familiar to long tail keyword? Um, Tarik, let me ask you because I see you first on my screen. Are you familiar with this terminology? Sort of, uh, for me, I think it's uh, the most uh, uh, words or uh, keywords that people are searching for. Let's say for, uh, if I do an e-commerce business on this tea product, people looking for this tea, this tea product, uh, where I buy this tea uh, and all this stuff. I'm not sure if that's correct or not. Yeah, it, I mean, it's, it's, it's partly correct. Uh, this long tail, key, tail keywords, so they are longer keywords that are less competitive than shorter keywords. For instance, I don't know, if you are now into organic food, you're selling, uh, let's say, uh, Kali, and you're putting like organic Kali, for example, that it's probably a very competitive keyword right now. So what, what can we do to improve this, uh, this keyword? Make it a bit longer, a bit more tailored and also a bit less competitive. And for this, we have uh, some tools and I want you to let me know if you have ever heard of Answer the Public. 
no, it's a it's a very useful tool. I'll share the link in a sec, where um, you can put a keyword, and then it will show you the like sentence full sentences on what people are looking in Google with that keyword included. And that will give you a lot of ideas on what long tail keywords to look and to apply to your business. And also what kind of content people, people are looking for so that you can generate this trendy content as well and not be as repetitive as most of the competitors. Um, where else can we find these long tail keywords? I also suggest you look into blogs. So we, you can look into um, forums like Reddit, you know, like Quora, and see what topics people are searching for. And um, this will also give you idea of what terms people are going to start using, and you will be the first one using this new content. And once you have the keywords ready to go, it's time to go to this second, uh, second suggestion I put on the slide, which is creating epic content. So here, what we mean is that your content needs to stand out and how it can stand out. Well, when you have long content on your website, when you have content that it's more in depth, that it's not as repetitive and it doesn't have as, as many vague uh, sentences as other, um, other blogs from the competitions, or the websites from the competitions, or their stores, product descriptions, then um, it's more, you have more probabilities that the content is going to appear first on Google, and it's also going to be shared by other websites. So um, when you create epic content, it has to be a content that covers in depth a topic, and also content that has a hook, you know, something that an external audience would like to read or would like to share. And this could be statistics, case studies, a unique strategy uh, that you have, or a rare interview. And also, what another thing that can help a lot is having good data visualization. Um, um, one second. Yeah. Um, then the third point here would be to optimize your keywords and also the content for the user. So um, here, what you need to do is to add keywords in very varied places. So we have to add the keyword uh, potentially in the URL. No, it doesn't always happen. It depends also on the branding of the of the of the uh, of the company. Uh, then also on the title tag, the image alt text, H, uh, like heading one, heading two, uh, heading three tags. We'll, we'll talk about this a bit more uh, later. Also, if you have questions, don't hesitate to ask in the chat or um, raise your hand as well, and I'll give you the floor. And uh, to optimize your keywords, um, sorry, to optimize also the content for the user, which is key, um, you need to uh, find keywords that are related to your main keyword, okay? So you need to make Google understand what your page is about. And for this, you need to look for related keywords. Imagine, for example, that uh, you're talking about, you know, let's say Star Wars. So there, your related keywords would be Galaxy or uh, George Lucas, Anakin Skywalker. You know? So is this kind of related keywords that can accompany the main keywords so that you don't abuse them that much and still uh, helps Google understand what your content is about? Um, and then um, to optimize the content for the users, you can also uh, create content that is clear, that shows like an index, call to actions, so that people easily understand what you say, what you sell, and they don't go back and look for another, uh, another result on Google. Because also this bounce rate is something that Google takes into account, and it can also be negative for uh, your, your brand. So as a quick summary, for to optimize your online presence, find long-term long -ter tail keywords, create epic content, and optimize these keywords and this content having your user into account in the first place. Um, so we have new people in the room. Welcome, everyone. 
Um, and now what we are going to do, and this is where I'm going to give you the floor, is um, I'm going to pick someone from the audience or someone who wants to, to volunteer, that would be awesome too, to review his or her marketplace store, website, or social media presence. So we'll do first a review of one entrepreneur, and then we'll, we'll do a review of a second entrepreneur. And here, what I want to have a look into is the content, the SEO, and also the user interface and user experience. So we are going to analyze um, all these uh, parts. So yeah, Boston, you, I can see your hand raised. Please let me know. You want to participate or you want to ask a question? Boston, you can unmute yourself. No, it doesn't look like. Okay, so who would like to? Who would like I, to? I would like oh, yeah. to. Uh, uh, you can people. use mine. Perfect. I'm just typing my website name. Okay. I've just typed mine. Okay, so <clears throat> that's my website. I know a lot of works needs to be done. So mm -hmm. I did some advice as to how I should go about it because. A lot of it has been actually manipulated by some people. So um, please let me know what, how do I correct this? Okay. Um, I'd like uh, you to share with us first some uh, information about your, your uh, company, the products you sell, so that we understand yeah. better what you're doing and we can help you better in the context of your Company. Yes, this is my website. So we are into herbal skincare, uh, then mm -hmm. uh, essential oils, candles, incense, and tea, coffee. Uh, so these are our primary products. But uh, like, if we get any requirements, we also kind of process those in terms of raw ingredients for skincare manufacturers, like these oils, vegetable oils, butters, etc. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And when did you create your company? Sorry? When did you create your company? Um, 2020. Okay. This Before is a new the... company. Uh, earlier, I had another company. So even in your portal, it was that company. And a lot of confusion is created because of the name change. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no worries. So now uh, your company is called Conde Flor, and where yeah. are you? Where are you selling from? Sorry, um, I'm selling from India, but uh, for, uh, this is an international website. So I have not put any rates here. We also have an Indian website where people can actually buy online from that site. Okay. Now, because we are not sure of the uh, shipping rates, etc., so I have not put my. Uh, I mean uh, the rates for the products in this site it's just like a b2b website and okay. uh, you know people can choose and they they can ask what they want and we present more varieties okay so okay so it's a b2b business uh selling products internationally and um which are your target markets uh well uh africa middle east um and part of us for some products, uh, because we, um, you know, want to be sure that uh, we are certified to sell those products there. So, so we uh, kind of process it one at a time, you know, we're not focusing entirely on a particular market, but based on requirements okay. on a case to case basis. Yeah. And are you selling on any other online channel? Yes, I'm just, I've registered everywhere. I just have to upload them and I will start selling shortly. Uh, where? On Amazon, eBay, uh, then uh, uh, Walmart of India, which is Flipkart, yeah. and then the LBB and uh, Misho. So there are a lot of sites where we are already registered. I'm okay. just uh, in the process of, uh, you know, uploading my products because of the name change. Uh, you know, a lot of... Uh, work had to be done from scratch 
Okay. Otherwise, my earlier company, uh, I had registered everywhere and I was uh, selling, but due to trademark issues, I had to kind of, you know, uh, have a new brand name. And then I formed a company in the same brand name as well. Okay, great. Well, thanks a lot for the introduction. And I will give some time uh, to all of us to have a look at this uh, all together and give you some tips. Okay, yes. and then I'll give the floor also to Ebel and Bosun, and we'll do the same uh, with them. So uh, first, I wanted to have a look at the content of your website. Mm -hmm. um, so, well, I can see, I mean, I haven't, I haven't had time to explore it in depth uh, just now. What you're yeah. telling so us. So content is not too much, uh, you know, it is very, mm -hmm. very brief. Um, because we wanted to actually um, upload products uh, and then write the content. So right now it is just basic and as uh, we were developing new products, so uh, it is not mentioned in detail, but okay. some of the snippets are there of my you know, events and all, but I need to still update a lot of no worries. For, uh, new missions. No worries, I can still see yeah. that um, it, it has a very good quality like from my first impression so you're making a good job and even you know if you have some things missing i can also tell like from a quick view that you're doing things right so one thing that's very important for this for the landing page is to have a, a clear message here above the fold and that's something that you have you have luxury aromatics so we the the visitor quickly understands what you are selling and you have right. a, a, a subheading also. So indulge in a range of pure essential oils, butters and herbs that celebrate the essence of nature and a call to action, explore products. Uh, but this is not, oh yeah, it's clickable. Yeah, that's good. Great. I think that that works uh, per perfectly because it's redirected to the page uh, with products. And also something that's very important is that the page this page doesn't open in a new page if you are still right. in the same website. So you're doing yeah. that uh, very, very uh, fine. Yeah. So good point, uh, having the, uh, a good um, value proposition at the beginning with a clear call to action and opening new pages in the same page. Okay, you don't have to create a new, uh, you don't have to make, yeah. make the link open into a new page. Um, right. I also, well, I also feel that you have done a good work on branding, you know, because all the images seem consistent. You use this also like natural colors. So it's like brown, green, yellow on the images, which is nice. And um, also let me check quickly your uh, presence on, on Instagram, for instance, to see if yeah. oh, the branding yeah yeah okay well here it doesn't feel that consistent i feel we you still need to apply a better branding image here on instagram probably you yeah. haven't had enough time to do so yes yes i have to work but on this we can look at that uh later and okay. um what else are you showing here so this is uh, this is an image right yeah, so if you go into a particular segment, say teas, we have a lot of uh, varieties which are there uploaded mm -hmm. already. Okay, but first I wanted to say here that when you upload an image with text, it can look nice, that's true, but it will not work for SEO. So no matter right. what you write here, Google or the, the search uh, engine that you use will not crawl through these terms. So you are losing, right. you're losing opportunity to appear first. So even if you do a great work on keywords, you find you know, the, the best keywords in the world and, yes. and you use an image, your work will not serve at all. Right. So upload, I don't know what, what, uh, what website builder are you using, WordPress or Shopify? Uh, I am not sure. I think it's WordPress. Okay. So um, if you use WordPress, go to the backend. Well, any of these tools, have it's easy to change. And create this using, instead of images, using text content. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then you can, of course, keep this image, but this one on the left. Also, in terms of images, 
what what does the audience think about this image on the right do you think it it tells you what the story what the company is about uh no not really uh, it just talks uh, in brief that we are into sustainable products okay so maybe you could use a more real image as well because the image you're using there is like an image from uh, i can't move this image. yeah right it's an image from uh, it seems from a stock image okay right? So um, what kind of image do you recommend? Like uh, anything which is clickable, uh, which no, needs no, land view? No, no, right. it doesn't have to be clickable, but something that you made yourself, for example, a photo okay. that you took, something sure, that, sure. that we can't download easily on the internet because it comes from you know, okay. a bank of images, something sure. that connects better with the audience, especially because you're selling um, organic products, natural yes. products. People want right. to see pure things. No? Right, sure. I'll do that. Um, okay. What else? Here you have latest update, updates. This is a good section also because I think um, it's always good in this, in your sector. And also, if you're selling B2B, it's very important to have a blog, to have a place where you upload, uh, with your, where you upload news. Right. Uh, so that should be a, a key part of your strategy. Sure. And sure. here, uh, what I can see is that yeah, you have la latest updates, but they are from a year ago, no, from 2021. I know. Yeah. <laughs> so, That's yeah. Right. So try to, I don't know, maybe write a blog story every two weeks. I will. I, we have already, it's just that, you know, I've been very busy, so we've not been mm -hmm. able to update it, but I'll do that. Yeah. Yeah. And that's great. And then where does this take us? Uh, if we click, okay. Okay, and it's also good to have a link to the latest updates in the menu. Sure. Yeah, because yeah. it's it's not it's not I can't find it here. No, and also it makes life easier to the visitor. Uh, yes, you can find it here in the footer. That's great. Yeah, but not uh, here. In the right. Footer. Sure, yeah. I will uh, have. I'll have it. Um, what else? Does what do you think the like the the other entrepreneurs here in the call today? What do you think about the, this website? Do you have any other suggestion in terms of content of the landing page? Feel free to unmute yourself. Huh? It's perfect. It feels that it's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Chaddy is saying that it's a professional website. Yeah, that's true. Thank you. <laughs> uh, that's true. Uh, also, let's have a look at the About Us page. Uh, Boson, what is Boson saying? Oh, okay. Uh, so About Us page. Okay, on the floor we created. Okay, here you're talking about. That's mm. good. Okay, but you don't say where you are from right no. oh we need to write no you about say it the... here yeah but you don't yes. say it in the about us yeah um i mean at first sight it looks good because hmm. uh, you hear you're talking you're describing you no know, uh, also the the products that you use showing how you are so natural also what you do um, that you support the sustain a, a environmental sustainability cause. That's great. Um, I also suggest here that you put photos of your company, maybe of okay. you or of, of your team to sure. show this, this human face. And right. um, also, I don't know if you've worked uh, with partners as well. Yes, uh, with the you know, we have a collaboration with Organic Trade and Investments, Ghana. So yeah, we need to add that as well. Yeah, so that's something that you can add here in the About Us. You can also leave an area to highlight yeah. your partners or the producers, if you buy right. from producers in India, in this case, um, yes. and link it to their online presence if they have. Or sure. because also it shows that you are, you know, you are creating this very positive collaborations and yes. you are also um, giving, like creating the, what we call backlinks between your websites. Right. 
Yeah. So that that way also helps your rank. If you add on your website links to yes. trustworthy websites, not to yeah. any, right? But if you add to, to good web to websites from your from other uh, sellers, right. Google will also give you priority. Sure. I will. I will. That's great. I, and now I have to make these changes. Yeah. We also have, well, Juliet is saying that uh, the website is very warm and natural. That's good <laughs> because, you know, I think that's also what you want to transmit with your website. Yes, so absolutely. That's and then we have uh, the footer. So in the footer, it seems very complete. You have the contact info, which has, yeah, the everything or the data. You also have the, the links to social media. Be yeah. also careful because sometimes when uh, people use website builders, um, sometimes the logos of all the social media channels appear by, okay. by default. So you need to, to see, I don't know if, it, if this is your case, I think in your case, yeah, uh, it seems to be fine, but sometimes uh, entrepreneurs, I've seen pages that leave LinkedIn and then it's not the, the link to their LinkedIn ac account. Right. And that's, yeah, but you, in your case, yeah, you do have content. So that's yeah. good. Then you have um, the website architecture also in the footer and you have the different policies. This is really good. Yeah. This is yes. very important, especially if you're doing B2B and international. Right? You Absolutely. need to have yeah. all this information clear mm -hmm. so that the buyers are aware of, of that. And this is a great call to action also to su subscribe your newsletter. Yes. That's perfect. Um, now let's have a, a look at the product range. So um, here you have, um, you're filtering the products by category. This is, okay, this is very good. Um, and then, so what happens when I click on soaps? No, we, uh, we don't have uh, too many options here yet because um, okay. since it's B2B, so, uh, you know, we leave it open, you know, clients can ask and because there are thousands of options. So okay. uh, we are yet to do this. Maybe we can standardize few and upload them. Okay. So what you're saying right now is that you have like the main category, but you don't have... Um... No, no, no. I have not put the products because, uh, you know, uh, we have not finalized. Or we have some flavors, but uh, we want to keep it open. If the clients want a particular flavor, we can do mm -hmm. it for them also. We can customize it. Okay, so that's, that's the reason we've not uploaded, but uh, I think we'll put a few for them to get an idea about the product. Okay, that's good. So uh, some things that I'm noticing that are very good and some things that need to be improved. So yes. one is um, the title. So the title, right. soap is a very vague word. It's very right. generic. Yeah. And uh, you need what we were mentioning before, you need to look into keywords, preferably yes. long tail keywords. Okay. Um, this means that, yeah, you, you need to use the word soap in this case, but you have to add other words that make it a bit more tailored and a bit more exact, more precise to what you're yeah, saying. Yeah, like paraben-free, uh, sulfate-free soaps. Yeah, exactly. And also maybe customizable as well. You know, that's a great yes, example. Yes, I, I you just write said. that as well. Okay. Because what you said about that you can, you offer this uh, customization option, it's not here. So yes. the user will not know that. It's very important Absolutely. that you add that. Because if you're not having so many options of products because of a good reason, which is yeah. because you customize it, then yeah. you have to show it here so that the yeah. visitor sure. understands. I'll do that, yeah. And uh, yeah, you can maybe put example, be a bit more specific also in the description, you know? like maybe uh, what type, of, examples of types of plants, types yes. of where the oils come from. People really want to know that. Okay. Um, I don't know how to maybe, um, yeah, um, maybe we can, because, you know, people, uh, uh, we have uh, oils coming from diverse places within India as well, uh, like from the source, from, it could be from the Himalayas, it could be from mm -hmm. the hills, 
of South India yeah. or, you know, the West Western part. So, yes. yeah, we do have diverse supply chains and we can uh, uh, stress on that. Yeah, that's a that's good, good idea. Then another thing that you're doing good is the this call to action, send inquiry. Mm. That's good because you're a B2B uh, company. So you need to uh, offer this option so that you are asked for a quote. Yes. And um, what you also need to also add is more photos. No, add more real yes, photos. Yes, I will add. Photos. <laughs> My photo shoot is due this week. <laughs> ah, great, great. Okay, then I'm not going to say anything else. About photos. <laughs> yeah, next time you'll see it. <laughs> Great. And the same again here with the text on images. Right. Um, yeah. If you imagine if you had added here, no, like normally I don't suggest you adding text on images because okay. if because it doesn't look that nice on on product images, but also because of SEO. Right. So whatever yeah. your text you're adding on the image is going to be a buy, a good buy. And no matter mm -hmm. what, how much effort you've done. Yeah. Um, then what you're also doing is here adding a possibility to uh, to review. Oh, but it doesn't work. Uh, right, because you have to click here. Uh, okay, because mm -hmm. you can create an account. Okay, that's why. That's good. Yes. Uh, you don't have review yet. I mean, it's not an issue. But once yeah, you have I'll them, ask people. Yes. Yeah, you need to work on asking people, and it's also great that you have uh, you have already created an area for reviews. Because yes. uh, this is what people are look. One of the main uh, car, uh, yeah. main options that people are looking into to select. Yes, I allow them to do it. Yeah, and maybe um, what you could also add here is a suggestion to I mean not finding what you wanted. You can have a look again at our product catalog. Or yeah. if you also have a brochure, it's a place here to also add a button to yeah yeah the brochure. Sure. Um, any other ideas from the audience? Any other B2B experts out there that can help us improve this, this product description? Not sure if uh, Ebel can help us. Um, hello. Um... Um, you've said a lot of things, and I believe that these ones are like the major ones. Yes. Um, yes, they are the main. Like I don't. I also don't um like um. It's not um aesthetically wise. It's not good to put um um letters on 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 um, on photos as well. It doesn't do well with um um user experience. It's better to just put photos and not put like names on the photos like soap how you put soap right. on the image yeah. yeah yeah i'll get it yeah well. yes yeah yeah thanks Abel. yeah You're um <clears throat> okay so well at least you know you we gave you a bit some some tips that i think are gonna yes. be useful <laughs> and then um let's let's stay for yeah for five more minutes before we move with uh Abel. but um also uh this i mean we discussed a bit about about the content um, but I also want to take advantage of this five minutes to talk a bit about the SEO specifically. Yeah. Um, so for the SEO, what's very important is one thing is the meta title. And what is the yeah. meta title? It's, uh, let's say it's the title that appears when you look for, when we look for your business on Google. So for example, Conde de Fleur, India. Let's see if that appears. Contes, ah, no, Contes de Flore. Contes, yeah. Sorry, Flore. Okay, so this, yeah. Yeah. This is your website. And this is, um, this is a meta title. Yeah. that appears uh, that that uh, you establish on your website what you need to, uh how you need to do your meta title is that it should contain the keywords that best represent the content of each page because the meta yeah. title goes for each page so in this case for the main url the main page 
so the landing page, you're having this meta title, so Con de Flor International Private Limited. Yes. What do you think about this title, Pretty? Do you think See, that's my office, uh, that's my complete company name. Mm -hmm. And uh, my brand name is also the same. So yeah. like uh, that's, that's basically the office, uh, you know, details what it's showing up. And okay. uh, yeah. But there we need to make a difference between the, like the name that it's registered and the name that it's uh, the branding name. Yeah, yeah. So people don't really care if the company is a, a limited company or, you know, you're a freelancer. So I suggest you remove this and you just mm -hmm. leave con de flor, the, the floor. Okay. Yeah. And you, you can also put con de floor, um, uh, like handmade uh, soaps or, you know, mm. handmade uh, natural products or body products. Something okay. that has that includes the keyword of what you are selling. Okay. Okay. And uh, yeah. you can do this in the website builder. You'll you'll okay. find the option. Then uh, okay. the same with the meta description. The meta description is the content that appears here. You mm -hmm. can set, change that in the backend of your of your uh, website builder. Yeah. And um, you, I think you have. I think the number was. Uh, up to 160 characters normally that are shown here on Google. Yeah. And it should, again, contain the keywords and yeah. an accurate description. Okay? Right. Um, so for example, I don't know if we look for, um, for, I don't know, uh, let's say Lush, because this is Lush. Lush. Lush is a company that's also selling natural products, as you may it's, know. Yeah. They are super popular. Um, so Lush has this as the as the uh, meta title. So Lush Fresh Handmade yeah. Cosmetics, vegetarian, <laughs> cruelty free. That's what they have. Okay. Um, and then here they have uh, some keywords and also a call to action. And that's what you need to change because currently what you have here, what shows up here is the, uh, the footer on your website. Uh, I think we lost uh, pretty. Okay, and uh, what else? So yeah, well, let's see if she reconnects. If not, uh, Abel, we can start with your, um, with your company uh, introduction, please, if you can okay, introduce Okay, hi. Hello. Yes, please. Um, I'm the founder of African Designers Mall. It's an e-commerce marketplace for premium African brands. So different African brands, um, fashion, art, interior, retail there. Sorry, globally. I connected. Uh, Abel, one second. Hi, Pretty. <clears throat> okay. uh, no worries. No worries. It's fine. I, we were just moving on to Abel because time is running yeah. out. But yeah. um, you can you can uh, send me a message in the community, and I'm happy right. to continue helping you with the website. If you sure. want, we can have sure. another another call to go through it. Right. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Thank you. Great. Sorry, Eva. You can go on. No, no. Please go. Mm -hmm. Hello. Yes. Yeah, so um, I was saying, um, African Designers Mall is um, an a premium e because uh, uh, a, an e, a premium marketplace for um, African brands. So different African brands, Nigeria, South Africa, Kenya, different brands retail on there to the global market. So it's a spot where if you want premium items from Africa, well-finished, well-made, you go there to buy it. What you, what you buy is worth your money. It's more like it, yes. <clears throat> oh, great. And what's, what would you say is the, the main different difference between other fashion marketplaces um okay so um we are a niche market because um, a lot of marketplaces sell a lot of things um but we are tailored to um african brands you know well finished so it's it's more like everybody it's, it's not for everybody everybody cannot retail there we hand select the brands we retail because we have this notion there's a notion 
around the world that most things from Africa are not well made or not well finished. Mm -hmm. So our difference is we are, um, we are curating well-made African brands that are changing the, that, um, the narrative about um, poly finished, you know, poly made and not quality, not international standard. So everything okay. you see on the platform represents an international standard um, kind of level. So that is the market we're in. I don't okay, know if that's correct. Cool. Yeah, and, yes. and so you're selling brands from all over Africa or are you yes. focusing on some countries? First? Yes, great. from all over Africa, yes. Okay, and then I can see that you can see the, pr the prices also displayed in different currencies. It's pretty good. Yes, yes. And how do you work with the brands? So you look for them, you invite them <clears> to, the, to sell, like you buy the products and you publish them? Okay, or do they okay, so, okay, so how we do, before now, we launched in 20, 2017, before now, the marketplace was open where people can just sign up and upload their products. But we had to shut down because we were not able to control the kind of brands that were there. And since um, we don't keep inventory, we're, we, we don't get to see the products. So a lot of people be, began to receive um, not well-made um, goods, which wasn't our, our core, right? So we had to shut down and rebuild the website into what it is now. So we, 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 we look for, we have like a, a team members that look for brands. We certify mm -hmm. them, they pass through the several processes before they can be signed on. So we literally look for brands. But, but even if, if brands reach out to us, we kind of vet them as a vetting process. But our team is responsible to upload your, your product. You send it in for physical, um, 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 quality assurance, mm -hmm. you know, we do all that before we put your brand um, on the on the platform. Yes. Okay, okay. that's yeah. great. And then, and then the company takes care of the sales or is it you taking care yes. of it? Yes, yeah, we take, so how, 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 the, how, the, how we work with the brands B2B aspect is, uh, we call it, we, people shop at our platform, we hold the money until the customer receives the product, then the, the, then the merchants are paid. So, so if there is any um, returns or any um, uh, issues, we can easily refund the customer. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, that, this is great. Okay. So, well, let's have a look. Um, it, it seems a very interesting thing. And I'm also interested about the certification process. Do you use any international certification or is it your expertise certification that qualifies yeah. the brand? Yeah, we use it. We, ha we have internal um, processes that certify the products and the brands. Yeah, we okay. kind of curated our own. Yeah, yeah. Okay, perfect. Okay, so well, let's have a look at it all together. So um, uh, what we were saying before with Pretty as well is that it's very important not to have the, the main, the value proposition very clear at the beginning and, uh, and then a call to action. And you're doing that. So well done this is this is great and you're also using a very nice background photo um we can easily see here the 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 menu and when we scroll down you will see featured products great photos by the way thank you really good uh i mean it also makes sense because you're selling fashion so you have to be very eye-catching but but yeah very well done and then you're also you also have a section here with lists okay that's good um, so if, if you want to shop like a brand, if you, have, if you have a specified brand you want to look at directly, you can just click on the on their own store mm -hmm. and you go straight to the brand. Yeah, that's really good. And there you also have a description. Okay. You have the yes. Yeah. Uh, okay. So here, what I can tell you right now is that um, this page is, is awesome that you have this dedicated you know area for your sellers. But maybe yes. you could add here an, a part where uh, sellers can write a description of yes, who they yes. are. That's missing yes. here. And also maybe uh, yeah, you have the products, that's good. If I click on the products, uh, this is super cool that you have a, sto a story here. Yes. And you also have information about yeah, where it is made, the composition and the delivery. This is very good. But the, uh, the, the seller page needs to be improved. So I would suggest you okay. add here 
uh, well, maybe even like a short description here, two lines. Yes. And then yes. below a longer description. No problem. So Thank you. Okay. Um, also, also, these descriptions, you don't have to write any. It's you really have to work hard on the description so that you use keywords, you use text that is not repetitive, and uh, that will also help help you rank. Remember that all the text that you have on, on your website means an opportunity to rank better on Google. Yes. <clears throat> then, okay, you have here another and follow us on Instagram. Okay, what would be nice here is to have, uh, I don't know, maybe even images of your Instagram. No, yeah, you so Shop you yeah, it was there before, but Shopify is not really integrating with um, mm -hmm. Instagram anymore. So you can't really, you can't really see view your Instagram yeah. through Shopify anymore. Mm. They, they, they continued that like a year ago. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Well, the rest looks good to me. Here we have in the footer, we have catalog search, contact us. Okay, you have all the policies and even a frequently asked questions. This is something yes. that uh, we didn't see on Pretty's um, website. Uh, not all the companies have it, but it's a good customer service practice because it allows you to save time to answer questions to your users. Because if they see this, they will click, they will browse, you know, and see if their answer is there and probably the, the answer to the question is there. And then they will not bother you again. Um, and that saves the visitor time and it saves you time as well. And you also have this uh, chat uh, bot, okay, to go to WhatsApp, that's good. Yeah, so because because normally we had the like a, uh... Uh, different kind of chat but since whatsapp is now integrated and that's the most used medium for brands to reach out to customers reach out to their to their mm -hmm. um yeah to, to their to their to the merchants so we just put whatsapp because it's easy a lot of international brands are adopting whatsapp so we had to switch with it and it's been the conversion has been great <clears throat> that's that's great and um which are the users that are using most the chat is it um uh, what countries in in Africa or uh, Europe? Yeah, so so eighty percent of our shoppers are in the US and the UK. Okay. Yeah, so um, then we have other African countries, basically anywhere around the world, Canada, different parts of the world. That's great. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Um, let's let's uh, move a bit to like other things that we haven't seen uh, with Pretty, so that we look into different content. So also okay. in terms of. Um, of SEO, um, there is, uh, you know, the, the 404 error page, you know, which is a page that appears when there's like a mistake on the, on a URL on your, on your website, or because I don't know, imagine that um, there's a problem with one of the sellers yes. and you write the, the, this, the URL and it, there's it no doesn't content. show. Yeah. Exactly. So this is what we know as a 404 error, and it's when okay. the page is not found. So you have this yes. message, which is normally automatic. And uh, it's good that you have you know, a, a call to action here yes. um, to, to still keep people in your website. Yeah, engaged, yes. Yeah, that's good. I also like showing, if we go back to Lush, um, they they used to have a very good uh, 404 page. It was quite fun because uh, also it's a it's a place where you can be creative. And if it, if it's a fashion brand, it's even you can have even this more creative. Uh, okay. Page. Let me see if they still have it. Uh, well, they they changed. Yeah, they changed it. before. They used to have like uh, different options, like contact me, contact us. Uh, browse other products and now i mean they have the, this design uh which is nice but what you are doing better than them is to have the clickable bu buttons uh, well they have them here okay and um, that's good uh what else can we see that we haven't uh seen with um uh, with pretty so um i mean i will i can't do it now because we don't have that time but um, it would be good to do an analysis of your page, okay. of your website. I don't know if you have done this before on one of the SEO tools. 
And there are many of them which are uh, free, at least the first week, you know, of trial. So you can have a, a quick, like uh, a download of your, of your SEO uh, study. I don't know if you've ever heard about um, SEO toolbox or, um, or uh, Neil Patel's um, SEO, what's his name, uh, Uber Suggest. <clears throat> these are tools, I will share them with you later uh, in the community, but these are tools yes. that uh, you, can, you have normally a free trial, so it's good for you to try it, to test it, and then you download okay. a report that uh, goes in depth into the, the, in the title of your website or the, mm -hmm. the meta title. I'm gonna show you an example so that you, one second, you understand what I'm saying. Um, so let's see if I can find it because um, we can still have a look also in Google about how you, your title looks like African designers. No. No. So here you have, this is what we, what we call the, the, the meta title and mm -hmm. uh, you have the name, that's great because also you incorporate, you know, the keywords, African designers mall in your yes. branding name, which, yes. is, which is very good. You still have a uh, space to add more things like okay. maybe locally produced or- uh, Yes, okay. Yeah, women uh, led <clears throat> businesses. I mean, whatever makes, your value proposition different. Mm -hmm. And the same with the meta description. Here you can add more information, you can be catchy, you can, you can add a call to action that also improves the SEO ranking. Okay, thank you. Um, also, some, a thing that I'm missing here is uh, about us. I don't know if it's in the footer. Um, yeah, it is. Book. Ah, yeah, you have it there about us. Okay, but uh, it's always good to have it also here in the top menu. Okay. Um, yeah, maybe what you could do is, I don't know, add another button or try to simplify the categories somehow. Um, about us is important because the buyer wants to know who you are, if it's safe buying from you, because websites can look easily nice but then mm -hmm. you know you need more info so and here you have a lot of space to talk about you about how passionate you are about what makes you different who you are selling to you know it's your opportunity to to really showcase who you are and play again with keywords okay um also in terms of um let's jump to an, another topic but just because we have five minutes but in terms of digital marketing what are you doing in terms of what digital marketing so you okay. have yeah you have presence on social media yes no you have so mm -hmm. yeah so we do a lot of um so for digital marketing we do a lot of seo actually we have a dedicated project for seo optimize um searching optimization okay. and we do a lot of uh influencer marketing influencer activation marketing as well then google oh, ads yes. and yeah facebook ads um yeah, do, 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 and then we do a lot of email marketing as well. Okay. We do email. So those are the tools we use. Yeah. Uh, that's, yeah, that's really good. Um, yeah, I see you have a beautiful Instagram. Uh, that's a lot of work. Um, yeah, it's a lot of work. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah. It, no, for sure. Um, does anyone suggest Ebel, other digital marketing techniques, or other website optimization? Uh, we have Ch Chadi, um, who, who's mentioned that Moz is another good tool for uh, to look for keywords and also to analyze your website. That's true. And Moz is very, very useful for Etsy as well. So okay. in this case, uh, Evel is, well, she has her own marketplace. So she will not use Etsy, but if other people here use Etsy to sell handmade uh, products, then Moz is a very good tool to help you optimize. Okay. Um, any other ideas on uh, digital marketing tactics that Evel could use? She mentioned um, influencers. How are you looking? How are you finding influencers? 
Um, so um, th th this strategy is one that has really converted a lot because wh what we do is we kind of study influencers in the fashion and lifestyle space that kind of um, relate to what the brand is about. Then we do a collection with them. So we're not just paying them off. They are part of the process. We design a collection that is tailored to oh, them. Wow. Then they are promoting they are promoting that collection when they are, while promoting our brand as well. And they're making a percentage of each collection. So that way it's not just, we're just uh, um, calling them to come and influence for us, no. So they're part of a brand, they're part of, you know, vision of having their own collection, you know, that that is a strategy we use. Oh, so, that's yeah. great. Yes. That's, yeah, that's, that's super good. And I think this is a very nice case study that you can talk about in your website. Yes. I, or, I mean, oh, correct but me yeah, if I'm yeah. wrong, but <laughs> you, don't, you, don't pro, you don't talk about it, right? Or do no, you? No, we don't. We don't. Only when maybe I'm invited <laughs> to speak in like conferences or events and I talk about it, but it's not stated on our website. But if you go to our Instagram, you can see like the celebrities we've worked with and that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very yeah, good. So, Ali, yeah. Cool. Uh, that's super. Uh, Chaddy, uh, please, you can unmute yourself and ask the question if you want. Because I'm not sure I really understand it. Uh, uh, yes, I have a question concerning yes. influencers marketing. Uh, when we make influencers, it's a kind of awareness or no? Well, in a, in a way, yeah, it is awareness because it helps your brand, people be aware of your brand and oh. absolutely yeah, follow because you I, and you grow. Yeah, I, I mean, the world is digital. Like bigger companies are paying influencers because they have a faster reach. And, they, and the way they interpret the brand is different from putting on a billboard. Billboard is static. They, you know, videos are in now. So using influencers, the conversion is better. People get to see the product on the go. So yeah, the, the, the marketing has shifted to digital. So your influencers are like major players in digital marketing space. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. And, and there was a thing that you just mentioned, which is very important is videos. So now... Yes videos is the thing that um, the type of content that it's that ranks better on social media. Absolutely. Um, so it's good to focus a strategy on video. Therefore, it's good to use influencers, but also to to you yourself make videos to show how you know the production process is to create a reels. Reels is very important on Instagram in this case, because uh, they are long content, more developed and Instagram gives points, no, makes this content rank better. Um, yes, I love great. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Uh, this is very cool, uh, Abel. I will contact you separately because I think this could okay. be also a nice, a nice uh, platform for our uh, beneficiaries of projects okay. in Africa because we oh. work in, in many countries in Africa. Okay, and that's great. Yeah, I don't know if you, well, I'll contact you separately in case you can share okay. like a brochure and I'll, ha I'll yes. have a look at this. Um, I'll do that. Yeah. Then we, uh, Mayank <clears throat> is saying, Ebel, your domain name is very big and different of small and more. People like short name to search, try something small name. It would be helpful for SEO. Uh, you think the domain name is very long? Well, it's not, I don't find it's that long. Um, it's quite a straightforward also. So yeah, yeah think... the, 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 the domain name says exactly what the brand is about, African Design is more. Yeah. You know, once you hear it, you know what it's about. It's not really about how short or long. So I do not agree mm -hmm. with that. Yeah. Yeah, I don't in some cases, I mean it could be yeah. the case, but I think in your case it's quite clear. If you were yeah, using yeah, like clear. no no key like no keywords, no something that yeah, doesn't like agree. yeah, like other type of names. Uh, yeah, but in this case, it's it's good. Okay, Evel, thank you so so much. Um, we'll well, we have to close now the session. Um, okay. I'm happy to help you if you have any questions. Write them on the live feed on Ecom Connect. Um, and also, just to finalize, um, I wanted to show you in case you haven't seen this tool which is a readiness, uh, it's an e-commerce readiness tool that we developed. It's a very short quiz, but it gives you a global uh, overview of what you need to do to improve different areas of your online business. 
So if you want to still continue working on your online presence, I suggest you use this tool. I put it in the chat and I'll share it also on Ecom Connect later, together with all the links we mentioned. And, uh, and um, yeah, also if you want to, to share on the live feed any, you know, here, if you want to type also any keywords, uh, you have questions about what keywords to use or uh, to revise something, please do it here because there are a lot of experts in the community that can help you. We at ITC, we can also help you as much as, as possible. And, uh, and we are happy if you contribute and we can all learn from each other. So uh, thanks a lot, everyone, especially Ebel and Preeti for your interventions. Um, thank you so much. Thank you. We'll be having a, another session in two months and we'll be uh, focusing I don't know yet if it's going to be more like social media and you know digital marketing techniques or a more technical seo we'll we'll see i'll i'll pose you the question next time and uh just before we leave um i wanted to launch a very short poll if you can respond and then you are you're good to go Thanks for answering the question. <laughs> <laughs>